What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 64 of my Rapid Rating Climb series, and we are on a journey to 800 ELO. So, if you guys enjoy my content, please like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into today's game. So, we'll get the music turned on for all you guys. Switch over to stream mode, and we're good to go. Let's get in that 10-minute pool. All right. Yes, uh, fella, guys. Good luck, brother. He is playing instantly. I'm assuming that's all right. I mean... Not too worried about that. He's playing really fast. So I can I can play here, play a move like this and get ready to castle. I think that's not the worst idea in the world. Um, I could also play this and get my knight out. Or I could just bring my knight in here. Which might not be a bad move. I think we will do this. Then if I want, I can still get my knight in here if I want to. Right. So, with that in mind, I think this is not such a bad move. Bringing my queen in here. Um, I could just play this immediately. If he takes, I could take. Um... I could just bring my knight in here and just we could trade off like that. Um, I don't know if I would want to take, but I could. Um, this also looks like a pretty decent move. Um, I think I'll play because I can do this. He takes, I take. If he doesn't take, I could take. He recaptures. Let's, uh, a lot of moves I could play. I'm just going to castle, and I think we can go from there. So, I thought a little bit about that. My opponent now got a little bit of time to think about what he wants to play now. Um, so, with that in mind, I think we can... I could bring this knight in. If he takes, I take, or I could take like that. Um, he could just play a move like that and chase me away. So maybe it's not the best move. Um, maybe we bring in this knight like this. So now... Got a lot of our pieces developed. I think I could do something like this now. So he wants to get his queen in. 
Um, I don't know if I'm too worried about that. This would be a big trade. So if I trade, he takes. I could take this. He brings his queen down. These guys see each other. I could take. He takes back with his queen. And then I'm still... in the driver's seat. I think I calculated that correctly. If he takes, I take. I'm not too worried about that, I don't think. There's a lot going on here. But I would assume he would take with the pawn first. And then I could do this. Or I could just ignore it. I could bring this back. Yeah, so. He kind of did what I thought he was going to do. I could just bring this back. If he takes with his queen, I could just do that. Just back step. Now this is still an issue for him. Yeah, so that worked. We won a piece. We won a piece. <laughs> a little bit of calculation goes a long way. Um... All right, let's get into the game review. Whoops. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second. All right. So we played with 79.8% accuracy. My opponent played with 63%. Um... We had one miss, zero blunders, zero mistakes, and one inaccuracy. So I'd be interested to see what we got. Um, so D D4, D5. Um, he goes for kind of like a queen's gambit. I don't take it. I just kind of develop. Um, he brings his knight out. I bring my bishop out, which is not the best move. That's my inaccuracy. Just taking the free pawn at that moment is a good a good move, apparently. Um, so we're out of book on the third move, literally. So he has an inaccurate move, um, bringing that out. I'd like to see what his best move is. Uh, just getting his queen out because I, my bishop has left, left the building. Um, and then there's this thing. If I bring my queen over there, he can push the pawn and then I have to back step. If he doesn't see pushing the pawn, then we could trade queens, but it opens up his rook. So it ends up being kind of a standoff here, but he has this pawn here. So if I just took on the last move, I, I get it now. So, all right. So I just solidify everything. They consider that a book move as well. But um, Bishop out, I just kind of throw my knight in the middle of it. He throws his knight on this annoying square right here. It's not really attacking anything. I bring my bishop out just to kind of break this pin and just I'm ready to castle now. Um, he kind of just solids up his structure with the move e3. From there, I go to kick the bishop out. The bishop backs up, keeps kind of like his little thing, you know, because basically, I mean, if I, if I move the knight, he wants my bishop still. It's worth it. Um, so I castle. I, I I took a long think here. I didn't really know what I should do because I feel like I have quite a few moves that just kind of open up a bunch of stuff. Even just pushing this pawn on him, I could even probably take. But he develops a bishop out. I didn't think that was a great move. I think he should be, I don't know, being a little more aggressive. Maybe something like that. I don't know. 
Um, but he can castle. He's making room for himself to castle. I see this, so I develop my knight over to there. He then brings his bishop all the way down here. Not a good move. Um, this says that I can win a pawn, which is this pawn. So, I didn't do that. Um, I, I decided to do a bunch of trades right here. And I calculated it. Um, and he didn't like... Ooh. So just capturing that first was obviously the better move because I just won the piece. But I also thought kicking the queen out was not a bad move. So I went about it like this. He moved his queen over to there. Um, I take the bishop and he just resigns. So pretty fun game. Um, let's go and play another one. Let's play another one. All right. Maximum Naki. Yo. Good luck, bro. Good luck. So this guy's a little bit higher rated than I am. Um, playing something kind of funky right now. I guess he could just push the pawn. Okay, so he's gonna defend it. It's very weird. Takes, I take, he takes, I can take, he can take, I can take. But my bishop can get involved in the game now. <clears throat> All right. We'll see how my opponent wants to proceed. I'm just, I'm comfortable, so I'm going to develop at, as usual. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, thank you, I appreciate you. Sorry, I'm trying not to look at chat while I'm playing chess, so, um, but thank you guys, I appreciate you coming in, that's cool. So... We will develop a bishop and probably push for e6 so I can get this bishop out doing some stuff. I could pin the knight. Okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. So, I think bringing out this knight is fine. Getting active. His white, his light squared bishop is terrible in this position. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate you, Brody. All love. Um, this is also kind of a weak pawn. We could try to attack that. This looks like a great square for my knight. Um, he's blocking this pawn in with his knight right now, so that is also just a free pawn. Not a free pawn. I take the pawn, he recaptures. Okay, got it. What are we doing here? Um, but I could pin the knight and then take the pawn. <clears throat> And just be up a pawn, maybe. We'll see how my opponent reacts to that. He could do something like that. In which I might just take. And then still take my pawn. With tempo on the bishop.
Okay. So he doesn't like that at all. That's okay. I think I am going to take the knight because he has to mess up his pawn structure. That does allow him to bring his rook into the game, but I think we'll be okay. So now I can't bring my knight in there or here. These squares are off limits. I could take this now, though. Well, actually, I need to get unpinned. So maybe just developing as normal would be a great idea. Um, where do I want to bring my bishop? Definitely can't go there. Can't go there. I could come here. I could come here. I think we'll just come here for right now and castle. And then I can move this knight. Oh my goodness. That's a move, I guess. Um, I don't know how good it is, but I'm going to get my king castled, king to safety, and this is a free pawn unless they defend it. So. We'll see. I didn't expect him to castle um, queenside. That's for sure. All right. So now we can play this move. And, well, hold on. It's not a free pawn because of this. I got you. So queen defends. Um, but we can do something different. How about that? Um, so I can't move this knight. This knight is fine. He's chilling. But what we can do is maybe undermine this pawn. And if he takes, I'll take. And I'll have a tempo on his queen. And this is a weak looking square, potentially. Ooh. So that was a mistake. So I lost a piece, but it's okay. We'll bounce back. Um, all right, that was a mistake. That's okay. We are learning, so. I could win a tempo on his queen by moving I think we will just do this. <clears throat> yeah, that was a silly mistake. So now we're playing from behind and we're gonna have to figure out how to come back. But I think my position's a little more solid than his. So I think we're okay. Um, so that's not a move because he can just take it. But we could take, take, and then I take on with the rook. That looks okay to me. We got this. We got this. So now we're threatening the queen. We're defended by the bishop. Our king is safe. Um, I might even reroute my knight. Okay. So he's threatening this pawn. I could just kind of sidestep and get my queen kind of in the mix. I don't really want to trade, but I feel building up pressure is going to be a good idea here. And I will just take his queen, right? Like, he's got his bishop here, but to recapture. 
If he takes my queen, I'll just take. Recapture with the pawn. And again, I feel solid. He is up a piece on me, but... I might be able to win some pawns if we just don't trade any of the other pieces. His pieces are kind of crammed back here in the back. This bishop's pretty all right, but these rook, this rook is not doing very much. All right. So doubling the rooks is a good idea. Getting my knight involved would also be a good idea. I could see him doing something like this right now, in which I will just probably drop back. Yeah. I could move my rook over to here and threaten this, put some pressure on this, you know. Um, but the knight is pinned, so I kind of like the knight being pinned. Um, meaning he can't move his knight because it's in line with the rook, or with his king. So... So can't can't go here with my rook. Could go here. But I think I'll just back step. Don't really want to go here because it'll just push his pawn again. So maybe here for right now. So this is a free pawn, right? So we're slowly getting things, and his king is kind of in an uncomfortable scenario right now. Um, can re work on trying to reroute my knight would probably be a good idea to get my knight into the game. All right. So, need to be careful. I can't go here with my rook. My rook is under attack, so I need to move my rook. I can't go here, and I can't go here. But what I can do is just come... I could come all the way back. Um, oh! Didn't mean to do that. But it happened. Alright, so that is not what I wanted to do at all. Um, <laughs> but it's okay. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, that was not what I wanted to do. So I can't take this either. That was a mistake. Straight up mouse slip. Um, can't go here, can't go here, can't go here. We're just going to come back. And this is looking dangerous now for me. Um, if I come all the way back, the knight's going to come here, but that might just be what we have to live with. Yeah, so this is basically a resign on my end, but it's okay. Yeah. Good game, partner. Good game. Yeah, so I didn't play that one very well. We can look at the game review. Definitely a bunch of mistakes in that game. Um, I played like a 70.5% accuracy. They played with 77.5% accuracy. I had a blunder, a miss, and a mistake, and two inaccuracies. And they played pretty well. So let's see where I went wrong. Um, so night out, not the best move. Just doing the pawn thing. You know, letting him take. I take. He takes. I can take with the queen. Um, instead, we do something like this. He takes... He doesn't take, though, so that's also an inaccuracy. I could have just kicked the knight by pushing the pawn. So, 
I need to keep my eyes open for tactics like that. Um, I'm feeling pretty comfortable here. Um, not the best move. Um, he brings his queen over there. I don't really worry too much about that. I mess up his pawn structure, and I'm very happy with all of that. Um, where is... Okay. Working on kicking out the queen, maybe, is the idea. Um... Okay, so I castle, they push their pawn. This is a blunder. Um, yeah, so I this is where I basically lost my piece. They take my free knight. Um, I come over to win tempo on the queen. I still feel all right here. I'm not super happy, but I knew I could just take this pawn they'd take, and then I'd win tempo on the queen again. Um, and look, I'm back to a winning position if you look at the bar. Like, um... So I felt comfortable in this scenario. That was not a good move. Kicking, uh, like I'm, I was worried about this pawn, but I can just kind of keep. I, I mean, you know, what if something like this? Like I didn't really have much for that, and I'm worried about forks and all. Whoa, he can't because he's pinned. So yeah, this just wins the knight. Okay, so that's why that tactic is there. Um, I go for the queen trade. Um. Yeah, he pushes a pawn, I back up. Definitely not the best move. Backing up all the way would have been the best move. And it would have kept me out of all of this trouble that I found myself in. Yeah, because he unpinned himself and then threatens my rook and my bishop is hanging. And I have actually no way to protect my bishop. Um, and so I come up here, which was a mouse slip on accident, so... I, being all the way back would have been the better move because I wouldn't have to worry about this. But right now, he's got both my rooks in line of sight because I mouse slipped, and this is where we ended the game. So, it's all right. Not my best moment, but... All right, I think we'll do one more. Um, we'll do one more. I'm going to start with D4. Good luck, Dusty... 12A. This guy's a little bit lower rated than me, but that's okay. Alright, so we're going to play a London. I imagine it'll do something like this. Get his knights out, okay. So he's blocked in his light squared bishop. I guess, I think this is called the French defense. Not 100% sure. Oh man, y'all laughing at me. It's okay, guys. I'm not I'm not very good at streaming. I'm used to making YouTube videos, so. Yeah, I don't. I'll look at the chat later. I ain't too worried about you guys right now. Brings the queen out that early. Also do a square that he would want to put his knight. Um. I mean. I could just simply threaten the queen. But she'll just move. Um, I think I'm just going to develop like normal. And. We can ask the question why the queen is there here in a minute. I can redefend with my pawn. If I want to, I could just take, but we could ask the question, why is the queen there now? Um, but I'm I'm happy just doing my typical London setup, trying to be solid. We'll recapture this way. And now I can bring my knight out. My bishop can come out. So, pretty comfortable. So, I don't know if I want to trade off my light squared bishop, but I like the pin. Now, something like this is a good, is a decent move. Like, you know, 
I could just castle right now. Um, could bring my knight in. I think we'll just castle. And I might threaten the queen here in a minute. Ah. Uh, so, I'm going to win a rook now. That was definitely not a good move. Now I can actually just probably come back. So my opponent made a, a mistake. Um, mistakes happen at this level all the time. Even I make them, so... I'm, I'm not too worried about just coming all the way back, so. If I need to make a little home for my bishop, I even could probably do that. So, now I would like to finish developing, getting my rooks kind of involved in the game. Um, if he takes, I'll just recapture. I'm not too worried about that one. Um... I guess I could take, he takes, I take. Yeah, so I take, he recaptures, I capture. Or I could bring my knight in, defended by my bishop. That looks all right. We'll do that. Threaten the bishop. I'm down to trade everything, so. best move to trade the queen but we could pin the knight to the king maybe not the worst move now we can work on winning the king or the uh the knight we'll see can take this and I'll come down and then I will move my rook out depending on where his queen goes <clears throat> so I gave up a pawn for that but So now we're winning the queen. Sweet. How the turntables. Right. Trying my best, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I know I'm terrible at chess, but... <laughs> So I can't take that. Um, I could just maybe do something like this. Keep checking the king. And we can work on some checkmating possibilities. I need to be careful. I don't like... I, I would still like to continue trading pieces. But. Alright. Um...
So I could do this, I guess, and threaten the knight. Defended by my queen. Well, he can just take it. But then I can give a check. See, this is the stuff that I miss a little bit. I'm getting a little bit too, too zealous. But I do have... Oh, okay. So he didn't see that. Let's see. So I'll get the trade that I desire now. It's pin fist. Um, so he's gonna win my pawn, but I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I got a bunch of pawns, right? So I can start taking everything. It's my board now. Give the check. I can get my king involved and we can go for a checkmate. Or I could just queen again. Which I think I'll just queen again probably. Alright. Good game, dude. Good game, my friend. Let's go to an analysis. Man, I can't believe I got so many people who actually watched me play. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, so, 83.3%. Um... 70% accuracy on their end. Um, I had zero blunders, zero misses, zero mistakes, but I had a few inaccuracies, three to be exact. So, let's get into it. Let's see what I did a little wrong. So, I went for traditional little London. I'm very comfortable playing the London. I thought it was weird he brought his queen out. Um, this was an inaccuracy. Take the pawn that's hanging the whole time. Um... Yeah, so I just kind of defend. I don't know what they were really going for, but I'm comfortable here trading up. I'm very solid feeling right now. I'm working on developing all my pieces. I feel good. So I pinned the knight. And I wanted to do that because I wanted to threaten the queen, but I didn't want the knight to interfere. So I did that. He brings a bishop out. I take. He takes. Now I can castle comfortably. Not the best move. Yeah, just getting him in there right away that the knight is not there. Blunder. Um, this allows me to win the rook. This was his first huge mistake. I take the rook. I also just come right back. Um, which is not the best move. I, what is the best move? Yeah, just going for other things. I'm not in danger. Um, all he has to do is move his king, though, and I... I, I do have some things to worry about, maybe. I need to move that guy, but... Just came back. He's pushing pawns. I take, he takes, I take. And, yeah, he didn't calculate that out. He can't really take me back. I take the pawn. He just pushes. He's kind of not... In a, I think he's tilted here. So, I take, he takes. I pin the knight. Um, trying to pile up on this piece. Um... Kick the queen out, wanting to do this, and I, I mean, he could have gone here, right? He could have. He could have gone here, which wouldn't have been a good move either, um, but I think this is the move that would have helped him a little bit, but he lines up. I have my rooks. Yeah, so, win the queen, give a check, um... Yeah, I definitely didn't convert this in the best way, but I did it. So, like, here is a good move. You know, he can't take, obviously, um, but... So, I pin, pin to win. He takes, I take, he takes, I take the pawn, still defending my pawn, and then I 
yeah, I mean, it's mate and seven from here, and we start with bringing my queen in for to c6 for check. So, Well, I played like an 1150 apparently in this game. Again, I don't know how accurate these are because I feel like they just add three, 400 points on whatever you're rated. But my opening was all right. My middle game was pretty good. So definitely better than last game. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time.